it here. So you may be wondering, why am I using, <laughs> why am I using Mac OS? So, this is the running on the 2022 M2 MacBook Air, and had it for a couple of, we've had it for a few days. Both me and my dad use this thing. Um, I've been using it as a school computer. Dad's been doing stuff with it for his for his school. So this is running. So yes, yeah, the M2. We have the M2 MacBook Air 2022, and. Um, it's a, got a midnight colorway. So one weird thing about these new MacBooks is they have they have a notch. It was kind of weird when we first got it, but it's actually not as jarring as one might think, because they designed Apple made it so the menu bar covers up the notch when you're using the system normally. So like if I open Google Chrome here. Well, here I'll go turn off the stage man. I'll turn off the stage manager, so that weird stuff doesn't happen. So you can see, even if I maximize the window, it doesn't go beneath the dock and it doesn't go beneath the notch because of the menu bar. Also, th these things have like crazy as who knows what battery life. I've been using this since this afternoon unplugged and since like probably towards me finishing school unplugged and the battery is at 61% right now so yeah you can see um, you can see that I have you can use Chrome uh, down there's a finder, here are the apps, the launch pad. The one good thing about having, the one good thing about Mac OS is that you have native Microsoft Office. I created the folder called Microsoft Office and it didn't come with that. You can also use xCloud. There's a weird bug with BlizzardBattle.net because I installed it and then removed it because I realized Overwatch 2 wasn't compatible with MacBooks. So, yeah, that weird icon stays there. And then up here is just a SSD that has apps on it. Because there was a tutorial where you could format, let me actually show you how you do that. So you go to Disk Utility and make sure under View that you say Show All Devices and go, so that's the device I'm using, then you would go to erase and change, make sure, and format it as, make sure it's GPT, so GUID partition map, and format it as APFS. So right now, the, the SSD that's plugged in, which is just a Walmart on SSD, and it's formatted as APFS. And APFS is a pretty weird file system <laughs> because of how it uses containers and volumes in containers. But at least it makes it easier to manage multiple volumes if you're only going to use the drive on a Mac. And right now we're only using it for this MacBook because we're storing apps on it. Because you can actually put, since it's app bundle file, since you have app bundle files, you can just store apps right on a external drive just by um, copying them out of the applications folder. So one of the new features with Mac OS Ventura is the stage manager. So as you have here, you turn on stage manager, and so if you open Calendar and Chrome, App Store, uh, what else? The Finder. 
and you can see all the apps line up across the side of the screen. You can switch between them quite easily. Which has been a which has been why I've been using this thing as a school machine, because it just makes it so easy to multitask. Because over here I have Discord and Discord's been pinging like nothing else. And this thing's been pinging like nothing else. Let me just uh, find... Uh, uh, where is... Keybinds. So, I'm going to add a keybind for streamer mode so I can turn off all the pings. So, let's see. On a Windows, I use Control-Alt-Shift-S for streamer mode. So, I guess I'll press... Uh, should I do Option-Shift-S? Actually, I'll do Command Option Shift S, since I do Control Option Shift S, or Control Alt Shift S on Windows, so Command Option Shift S would be good for Mac. So now, oh, it's enabled right now. So press Command Option Shift S, it toggles streamer mode. So now I'll just uh, quit Discord. So I have Discord here, and I also have Twitter on here. I also have Twitter on here. I just scroll up and go to my profile. Oh, no, I didn't mean to click on a trending item. Sometimes it's kind of <laughs> inevitable that you're going to click something when trying to expand the window. Because I don't want it to cover up the stage manager bar. Although if I do cover up the stage manager bar with a window, you can just put your I can just put the mouse to the left, and the stage manager bar will come back out. Oh, here's notifications, bookmarks, profile. So if you hit minimize, it just retracts into the stage manager bar. So having Stage Manager enabled makes it really easy to manage a lot of windows. And you can go to the desktop, and so here I have some Python scripts. So up here is a folder with some Python scripts. Like here's... Um, Which one do I want to do a speak test in here? Yeah. You open that, this is, and it opens in, I have Visual, I have Visual Studio Code installed on here. That's another good thing, it Visual native v VS Code, but I, I'd, I've been doing a lot of uh, HTML, like uh, web coding lately, and um, uh, VS Code.dev, I've used that on my Chromebook. So I'm kind of familiar with the layout of VS Code, and it's basically, it's useful for editing simple coding languages. Let me run a Python file. I changed the computer's default voice to where it sounded like Siri. And there's just a terminal. So that's just a terminal window in VS Code. So yeah, I have a, I just have a Python script that uses the TTS library, PYTTSX3. So you can develop in many different languages on a Mac. You've probably seen here in the Finder that there's, in the locations, Actually, I actually have to go enable all this stuff. If you press command comma, it brings up the preferences. It doesn't show these items in the sidebar. So I do enable a bunch of this stuff. And you can also just click finder up here in the menu bar and go to settings. So that's the Python projects. I actually show you that uh, opening apps from this SSD actually works.
So, you know, VLC media player, which I can't really demonstrate in a video. Um, I put Ro I moved Roblox to this drive. Now, probably most of the user date data is going to be stored. Okay, it says it's upgrading. Yes, Roblox would like to access files in a removable volume. It looks like it just refreshed Roblox on the drive. It didn't affect... Um, it just refreshed Roblox on the drive. It didn't... Uh, let me go to the applications on the Mac. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't shove anything into the applications folder on the Mac. That's a good thing if you if you move Roblox to to a drive to an external drive and then open it and it wants to update, it'll update the executable from where it was stored. It won't try to put something in the Apple in the computer's applications folder. That's the reason we moved this stuff off of here was to reduce the amount of storage we're taking in the internal drive. Because storage problems are compounded by the fact that we have two users on here. So let's just play a game. Uh, do uh, RBLX where? I have to turn the volume up because of the weird way that uh, my school thing does audio. And right now I'm actually using a pair of Google USB-C earbuds with a MacBook, so... It's weird that this pair of Google earbuds work, but my dad's pair of Samsung's didn't work. Oops. I'm going to turn down the volume from Roblox's perspective. <laughs> that weird Roblox death sound that they now have. I didn't, let's see, what is this? Make a coffee. So coffee, sugar, cream, and deliver. I probably need to pair the Xbox controller because I haven't, let me just, wait a minute, pause. Uh, forget this device, and then Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Connect to the gamepad. Okay, it's paired. Can I move? Like, find the matching pumpkin. So it's a smiling. Nope, that's not it. This stage, I'm probably gonna lose this one too. How's So RBLX4 is basically, um, I even say it in the description, it's a sort of knockoff of WarioWare. Oh, okay. What's this? So, uh, which, I, I know, I know what buttons these are on the keyboard, so I'll switch to the keyboard. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay. 
They show you the they show you the controller symbols. <laughs> I I just thought that because there were no symbols on the icons at the bottom that they weren't gonna show you symbols, but they do. Click the buttons in the correct order shown. Green, green, yellow, yellow. I had to switch the mouse for a second there. Collect three pieces of trash. Trains. <laughs> if I can make it through the boss, I'll get another heart. Don't die. Oh, no. Okay, don't get on the green platform. So this one, if it says don't get on the green platform, get on a platform, just not the green one. It says, it says, get on the green platform, get on the green platform. It's just, you have to be on a platform. I think when it does that, it's just like a random platform. Dodge the boulders. <laughs> I'm not doing very well this time. Don't fall off. <laughs> If you're the only player, you, you're the wanted player amongst a bunch of noobs. And I lose the game completely.
The weird thing is some iOS games can be played on a Mac, but not not all of them. You also have NVIDIA GeForce Now. That's also on the SSD. So, I've never played Fortnite in a video. I don't think I've ever played Fortnite in a video before. I don't know. As a see, of, of course. But, I don't have to play Fortnite with GeForce now. Yeah, there's, there's always queues because of NVIDIA's weird pricing model. But, let's see. Where did I put... It should be under... Games. <laughs> the only the only game that's included with the Mac is is Apple's chess rendition. We will play Fort oh, okay. And uh So if I put it in full screen that way, I st there's still a bar at the top. There's still a bar at the top. So I have to wait for the game to start, so I can click the menu here, go to full screen there. Now, because it's on xCloud, it's kind of confined to the screen, but you can still play the game. It's a good thing that Apple implemented official support for the Xbox Bluetooth controller. You see, nobody's nobody's here. I don't think all of all of my wins in Fortnite, I believe, have been on the Switch. Because I started, because the Switch is where I started playing Fortnite. But I'm kind of used to controller Fortnite. I've played mouse and keyboard Fortnite before, but a lot of the times it was on my Dell G7 that likes to slow down all the time. A couple of times I tried it in GeForce Now, both on that computer, I tried a Chromebook, and I think one or two times on this MacBook for GFN, but I couldn't play, play GFN now because I didn't want to wait for the stupid queue times. Waiting for players... What is, is someone loading in, just hasn't appeared yet? Because normally there's a timer. And yes, had the radial in, okay. Waiting for players, 90 seconds. Fortnite's probably one of the most hectic games Especially like end game can can feel especially <laughs> I guess the victory umbrella. So I usually land at this house. Is the camera still rolling? Yeah. Probably could have told that because I can still see the orange dot in the corner that tells me the microphone's on. It never just says to deploy glider. It just, so right now it says to deploy the umbrella. 
Sounds sinister. Please don't tell me somebody else is going to land at this house, too. And I've been marooned with the default pickaxe. I have other pickaxes, but still. <laughs> also, there's been random... Also, ever since the latest Fortnite update, like, since I guess since Fortnite Mares ended, um, there's been... Um, ever since Fortnite Mares ended, there's been... Um, random... There's been random Star Wars mythics on the floor. <laughs> I guess I have a ha habit of hitting chromed objects just to see if I can get a chrome splash. I already have an Eva Chrome Burst Rifle. One thing you get for playing it on playing this on Cloud Game on Xbox Cloud Gaming is um is ray is ray tracing. I already have an Evo Chrome Burst Rifle. I'll take the lever. Since I'm, look I'm looking for an Evo Chrome Shotgun. But I'm never going to get my way, am I? Evo Burst. It's just... Uh, well. One thing you don't want to do if you're looking for chrome splashes is hit the weak spot. Well, I didn't exactly need all of those. I'll just have two extra chrome splashes for a bit. Probably use one of the extras so to if there's any chests up here cuz I need to get an Evo chrome shotgun. And I see shooting on the radial indicator. I also hear... I heard a key. There's the key. And there is a, there is a chest. So we just, uh... Get down here. Get out a chrome. Chrome this chest and break it. And... It's an Evo Chrome Burst Rifle, but I'll take it since it's a higher tier. I'll take it because its tier is higher. Hey look, a shield potion. Didn't need to go find any more slurp barrels. Don't need to go find any more slurp barrels. Let's see how full this car is. Yeah, I'll fill up this car. I'll check the hollow chest, see if there's a chug splash over there. Nope. No chug splashes. Is there ammo boxes? Yep. I'm gonna, while I'm here, I'll use some of those gold, <laughs> gold bars since I'm full of, since I'm full of them to upgrade the lever to a rare, is that rare? I think blue is rare and purple is epic. And also I need to use another chrome. Since I still haven't gotten an Evo chrome shotgun. Also, I need I need shotgun bullets. <laughs> I only have sixteen I only have sixteen shotgun bullets. 
Yes, of course. Pressing the sprint button while your chrome turns you into a blob. There's some shotgun bullets. Is there a chest inside the gas station that I haven't opened? Oh. And some SMG. Found some SMG bullets. I don't want to use a key right now. I want to. I like to save keys, so I could potentially get like a, a um, chug splash. Hey, that's a evil clone shotgun, in, and it's rare too. I already have a goo gun. I've never, I've never used the goo gun, but. But who cares? I've never used the goo gun, but who cares? Whoa, glicky graphic. Eh. Eh. <laughs> I'll take the shotwave grenades. Also, there is... Ah! This is what happens when you litter when you litter Star Wars mythics everywhere for um epic. Fortnite. Uh, well, I wish to quit Fortnite, not <laughs> quit game. So, yeah, Fortnite works. There's also Garage Band, which is something that you kind of need a Mac for. Some random file from my old iPad. Don't s so for my iCloud Drive, GarageBand for iOS. Let's see, what's this? My songs. Got a random name. <laughs> what was that? I used because I had an iPad. The reason I have all these garage garage band files is because of um. Here's my song. For all this here is like why does it not play? Let's see. Uh software instrument audio. Like, do these drum machines only exist on, um, let's see, where is, so if I got modern 808, Why does it, why does it not play? 
I'll have to see if anybody else has had problems with playing um, certain tracks made with uh, iOS GarageBand on Mac GarageBand. And of course you got iMovie. If you want to do video editing that's clearly obviously made in a... If you want to do some obviously iMovie <laughs> video edits, like... I, I don't know why iMovie is just such, iMovie's uh, assets are just so recognizable. <laughs> so I know it says, I haven't opened iMovie off the SSD yet. If you move something off of, move an app file to an external storage device, um... So yeah, here's iMovie. You also got some other apps like you know home, you know the Apple apps like HomeKit, Photo Booth. Um, then you got some third-party stuff like, of course, Discord, and probably the best note-taking app ever, Standard Notes. Which is infinitely better than, which is like Apple Notes, but better. I used it because I was looking, because I had gotten into using Zorin OS Linux, and I wanted a note taking app that would work on, on there, and I just happened to come across Standard Notes and just ended up using it for everything because it's possibly the only encrypted notes app. And also I have VSIDE for Mac on here. So here's a random... And the VSIDE for Mac is made for... Is made to, like, um, run... Co is made to be able to develop... Um, .NET, like, develop in .NET languages on a Mac. So, like, C Sharp. Just right now, none of my C Sharp files are are probably on our let's see, over here on the NAS over here called Writer. You probably notice some of these names, like when, because we needed a name, we like we like to name computers after uh, cartoon characters, so we we're trying to come up with a name for this one because of because of its clean design and how the character from the from the Splatoon manga likes to stay clean despite the ink battles. Uh, I named the thing, I named the thing Inkfall, and our network storage device. Which is a Synology disk station. I, I call I named it Ryder. <laughs> After the character who wears the black biker jacket from the Splatoon manga. So let's see, it should be under home in uh C sharp class projects. Cause I, t I took a uh course on the C sharp language, so I should be able to find what the user input tutorial was. I'm gonna open. I'm just gonna pull that, so I don't have to worry about the disk station. Actually, I'll I'll pull that folder onto the onto the SSD. I'm gonna open that. Open the solution. So, and opening the solution file will start the SIDE for Mac. So you can see it's just a, wait, why does it say console.write? Oh yeah, there is a difference between write and write line. Write line creates a new line. Um, let's see, so if I click the, if I click the play button, then what is your quest? Something, something. And then it'll just say, I want to something, and you pull up terminal down there. One thing that's also good for developers that you can do on a Mac is the macOS terminal has built-in SSH. So if you open the 
Mac OS terminal and type SSH. Another uh, Splatoon manga name. I can open this, which is of like a was it a twenty twenty eleven I believe Mac Mini. I don't know. I think I have Neo Fetch. Um, Mac Mini five comma one. Okay, yeah, mid-2011. Because, like, up here, you go to... No, no, not about terminal. For some reason, every Mac has this thing. So you go to more info, go to scroll down, system report. <laughs> it doesn't even say... Um, it just says Mac 14, comma 2 is this... Uh, computer's model code. So yeah, it's a, a mid-2011 Mac Mini running a second-gen Core i5 with 8, eight gigs of RAM, I believe. 8 gigs of 7,800 megabytes. So it's a mid-2011 Mac Mini that I accidentally blew the Mac OS up on. So and then after a while of running, trying to run desktop operating systems on it and never getting the Wi-Fi driver to work correctly, we ended up putting it in with the network stuff and putting Ubuntu server on it. And now that thing runs, um, runs, huh, and now that thing runs Home Assistant as a, as our smart home controller. One thing I would get used to with macOS is having to quit everything, either by right-clicking in the dock or pressing Command-Q. Or, if you, for some reason, if you change the um, setting in Visual Studio for the keyboard shortcuts to be uh, VS Windows. So let's see, is, is there something for quit? Yeah. I want, I want that to be Command-Q. <laughs> I want quit to always be command Q, just so it's universal across apps on the Mac. What's going on? Can I go to the can I go to the top? So yeah, that's the twenty twenty two MacBook Air M two.